Spian's oh, he clears that out. He collapses yeah. his sector. Good. Oh, okay. All right, so huge problem with this. Wow. You might want to look at what you find. Whoa. So here, here's, a, here's obviously a big mistake. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mike Philcraft back in the studio again, reviewing videos, thingamajiggy show, something, some title. We're doing that. Next time, let's add that. Can we do that? We can do that, right? Yeah. We, can we do that? Can we? we can do whatever we want. Okay, we can do whatever we want. All right, guys, so we review videos based on my experiences in special operations. And uh, if you're just coming into this arena, uh, I own a company called Philcraft Survival. You could get it down in the notes below or just uh, Google it, Philcraft Survival. Um, here we go. What we got? Yeah, so this one is, there's a TV show on A&E right now, like I called I Survived a Crime. This is a clip from one. I saw this. It's pretty interesting, a home invasion. Uh, we did a home invasion last time, but this one, uh, a little bit more dicey. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I haven't watched the whole thing. I just saw it and I was like, oh my God, I gotta stop watching because we'll review it. Blah. Here we go. So here we go. I'm excited. Sit down, boys. Can I pause it? Oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay. So here it comes. Right there. Okay. Wow. Okay, here we go. This is kicking it off proper, right? Broad uh, night light. <laughs> so they're entering, that looks like a con, not a condominium, but a, uh, like a townhouse. townhouse. Yeah. yeah. So you got typically a garage downstairs, made it with stairs, and then you get the living domain above the, the garage. Uh, it could be an apartment complex that with a weird setup, but he's coming up the stairs blindly with a shotgun, <laughs> with a sawed off shotgun. Here's the, here's the thing, right? When I look at these kind of uh, events, uh, I am looking at the guns. I'm looking at hands, I'm looking at guns, and I'm looking at intent or behavior. Mm -hmm. A shotgun scares the crap out of me. Yeah. Because a shotgun, one, especially a semi-automatic shotgun, that doesn't look like a semi-automatic shotgun. It's cheap, which <laughs> denotes the kind of bad guy it is. Right. Um, it's super capable, mm -hmm. and it has a hairline trigger. They, they, those triggers on those Remingtons yeah. and yeah. on doesn't those, take anything. it doesn't it doesn't take a lot to blast a um, Lacroix size hole in a man, um, and that's not good. So, no. so what's what's in, what's interesting is um, they have bottles of two liter cola <laughs> <laughs> that's warm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Unless they use an ice maker and they're using cups with ice, that I don't, I don't get that. It's movie night. It's movie night. Yeah, um, but she's. She's obviously right now glued to her cell phone on Phil Kraft Survival's page on Instagram, Definitely. getting all this information. Definitely. So, no big deal. But you know what else too is? Is he saying, "Sit down, motherfucker!" Right now, like he's telling the guy because the guy's in the yeah. kitchen right now, like that. And the you can see the way he's holding the gun, like that yeah. sketches me out. Yeah, part of, part of this, and I already know what's going to happen right now, without even um, without even knowing what's going to happen, he's going to get sucked into that target. There's something called target fixation, which takes place in guys who are doing CQB, um, guys who get in gunfights, um, guys who are stressed. When you identify somebody, he's talking to this dude, sit down, asterisk, right now. He's super focused. I guarantee you he's not even going to identify that dude. He's not going to clear his blind spot, which as coming up a stairwell, you would, you would clear with a gun in your eyes that entire top deck, right. and he's going to go right into him. And by time... Um, by the time he turns, the female hopefully has already identified that he Something. exists, but she's not in a position in her PJs to do anything about it. So no. here we go. Right now. I just didn't know what was happening at first. I was just in shock. The intruder orders Caspian to take a seat. Then he turns his attention and his shotgun toward Caspian's oh, he clears that out. on the couch. He collapses yeah. his sector. Good. I definitely feared for Didn't my know. life. When yeah, he has a plan. That That's scary. At me. I've never been in a situation where a loaded gun was pointed at my face, and it was a shock and kind of my life. They obviously flashed shot the same eyes. nose ring. Uh, place. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, let's pause right here. Right there. All right, so huge problem with this. This typically happens. Th I'm not surprised by this action. Mm. I'm not upset at the guy. Right. He took an opportunity, last split second. That happens sometimes immediate. It's, right. When we identify immediate threats, right, we don't process the information. And what I use is a, a guy, you coming across on a trail, a snake. When you snap back and you go, oh, that could be instinctual. Mm. Like Tony Blower says, that could be a... Um, 
a flinch response. Right. So your tactic to grab him and to do that immediate, you've bought that. Now right. you're sold to the idea, you gotta follow yeah. through. Yep. The problem I'm having is, is this girl, right? She comes off the couch, she doesn't have a tactic, there's nothing in her head. No. She's like, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> and so some people respond under this type of stress with action, because they go, I'm scared, I'm in fear. This is, a, a by the way, a fear-based, emotional-based response, right. and they don't do anything to help her, her the guy that's in Yeah, and it, because his response was, well, to protect myself and my girlfriend, fiance, or whatever she is, is to grab what's gonna cause me harm. Yeah. Which is obviously, like you said, it's an immediate response to like what happened. But um, also it's, it is odd, but but it's a good example of how people do react to emergencies, man. Like, yeah. I mean, you see this in, I, I've seen this in car accidents where people see something that happens, but you know, it, it, they see it happen and then they don't know what the correct actions are to respond to that, you know? And it, it, it's just, it's unfortunate because there needs to be and it. And I, I got this from you, but in the absence of action, there's fear. Yeah. When you don't have a process to put in place, you're just going to be sitting there scared, whatever yeah. the situation is. And obviously, this is a pretty. Let's see how it plays out. Aspian reacts in a flash, grabbing the shotgun barrel. Instinct. He, he flagged his face with that barrel a couple times. That shotgun. At that moment. He's, a, he's not a big dude either, man. No. Just straight adrenaline, I would say. Yeah. Caspian knows his fiance is still in the room. She We're rolls on you, off the couch. Wait for... He barks yeah. in order. She's just shaking. I actually yelled for the roommate, <laughs> and that was all I could muster out. All he's doing is grabbing that gun. Yeah, uh, which is Caspian a good call. Is actually good being yeah. dragged yeah. down the stairs, still holding that death grip on the shotgun barrel. I can't believe she's not calling out the warrant. Now on his own version of an escape room. Wow. I oh my as God. As I you might want to look at it. <laughs> Whoa. And just ran the other the best direction. I could, best I knew how. By doing what? It's becoming painfully clear to this home invader. Wrong house buster. I Damn. Told wrong house buster. <laughs> he was fully hey, man. in agreement. As we were there, it one. was a change it in is. power for sure. He slipped as it was icy. I overtook him, got the weapon away from him. The imminent threat is over. Wow. A moment for the couple to relax. Caspian is now armed in self-defense, but hopefully what is that? won't... It looks like a rifle. It's a bipod. He's got a big-ass bipod on the bottom Wait, of his rifle. Was that the gun he came up with? No, no, no. That's, that's his own rifle. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. He's got his hunting rifle. And an unbelievable okay, that request. is a carbine yeah, looks with like a, a very long uh, bipod. Massive bipod. Uh, you know, like to you each their own. Bear it. I opened the door, and that, he was asking yeah. for his shotgun back. And so we told him no, of course, and he tried to force his way back into the house. Okay, so stop right. So here, here's a here's obviously a big mistake. The dude left his gun on the couch. He had a pistol in his hand too. The guy, oh, he, he did. Had, he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I think, or maybe it was RC. Yeah, in his hand right there, he's got a pistol. What is he? How is he holding that pistol? Like suitcasing it. <laughs> a moment for the couple to relax. Because he's, he's grabbing Caspian off. Caspian is now armed in self-defense, but hopefully won't need to use his weapon. Weird. Okay, stop right there. Just stop right there. Let's talk about this real quick. You know, look, when you have adrenaline dumps, a cortisol elevated, right. that's like running a, a, a 10,000 yard sprint. Mm -hmm. He is feeling those effects right now. Yeah. You can see it in his belate. But let's actually talk about what happened physically. He was probably wrestling with that dude for about 25 seconds. Not even. Not yeah. even. So physically what he's doing is adrenaline dumping on this dude, <laughs> adrenaline dumping on this guy, and he's fighting for his life. He's not breathing. He's not getting more cognitive. Right. Uh, you want to activate your neocortex. And I tell people all this all, uh, uh, in all of our training courses. When you feel yourself surging with adrenaline, it's not um, a natural. That's a natural response. How you counter a lot of that is by thinking through problems, mm -hmm. breathing, Yes. Bringing yourself down to earth. Because if you don't do that, the detriment is you're going to get done. And now he's in a state trying to be cognitive, trying to make good decisions. And he makes probably a couple poor decisions. The way he's holding his pistol and holding a rifle, choose one, man. Right. Drop the pistol, uh, carry the rifle, grab the pistol, put the rifle somewhere where it's your, your secondary and go to work. 
And uh, you could tell he's belabored, obviously, yeah. in his breathing and everything Yeah, else. you can see his chest kind of flexing. Yeah, and it's, and it's super, it's yeah. super not natural, supernatural. It's super natural. Right, yeah. Very All much right, so how does this end off? So then he goes, the grabs his phone. Back. So the guy asked for a shotgun back. <laughs> and he tried to force his way back into the house. Hey, man, those things are expensive now. <laughs> the suspect <laughs> finally fled the scene, still without his shotgun, which was loaded but never fired. Caspian turned it over to the police as he relived the sickening events. The police were almost arriving. See sirens coming up, lights flashing around the block, and he started heading back out the door again, and they intercepted him there by his vehicle. So when the police showed up, then they wanted me to walk through the situation with them, and I hadn't even really fully processed it yet. I just got incredibly, incredibly adrenaline high. I mean, my yeah, now he's coming entire off. body was shaking. Yelling. I was sweating. Yeah. Um, He's getting my angry. face was bright red, and so I puked. Oh, it kind of all washes over you. I mean, when, when you're in the midst of it, you don't feel any of those things happening. So that more likely as is uh, it calms uh, down, the, like, the lactic. Crap. This threshold yeah crazy. so he's getting I'm a lot of that lactic that acid and trying to fight for his life not in good so physical quickly. condition yeah and that affects his ability to to, to operate I, I you know before, good on him man good on caspian yeah. for, for that doing that you know especially what. without yeah, support go through it with his um too. you know hey dude Wait, you know in, in tactical tinder that's what we need man we like we've talked about this talk about that and he needs he needs to be on tactical tinder after that um because that's what I wanted to bring up is like her reaction to that. And, and given, you know, I've had my fair share of experiences, but you know, having a shotgun put into my face, isn't one of them, but she just what are you doing, I'm, I'm backing up to her, her reaction where she's oh, sitting she sitting here, on the couch. she sits in the couch. She watches this whole thing go down yeah. and then runs into the back room. Yeah. And I look at that as lack of training, man. Right. I, you look, the guy has some form of training. He has the gun, his camo painted mm -hmm. at the say that's mm -hmm. an indication of it but he fights yeah so he's got some level of competency mm -hmm. i always tell people even you at home go train and train with your family members yeah. if you compartmentalized all of it because you're that guy that's fine but why would you not make force multiplication of your potential especially in reacting to people who are in your home right. with people that are in your home right. um and you know uh, one is none, or is it? What is the same? One, one, one is none. Two is two is none, or two is w in <laughs> two this circumstance. Is yeah, two yeah. is none. Yeah, in this one. Yeah, it's barely. And this drives home the point too. What we talk about in courses is, um, you know, have a some kind of a plan, loose fitting plan to where, hey, if somebody kicked in the door right now, what do we do? Yeah. Like generally speaking, you know, if your role isn't the protector enforcer in your home, and you know, hey, I'm not the person to grab a gun and take up arms against something. You should it's still you still have a role in protecting your home, and maybe it is I'm gonna go barricade and call 911. Maybe that's what you want from your family member, your wife, your kids, whatever. Mm. You know, don't you don't necessarily have to get into the fight, right? But do something, play, have a role because in that again, in the absence of action, there's fear. And instead of just sitting there uh, on the floor and running to another bedroom and being afraid, if you have an action to place there, even if it is go barricade, call 911, you know, find a weapon for me to use or Maybe your role is jump in there and grab that dude by his freaking neck, you know, and whatever it is, have a plan. Yeah. You know? Yeah, guys, if you like this one, uh, you'll like the next one. Uh, we are going to segment it and you'll see it. Um, we are doing this to educate you. Um, also, we need your feedback. If you got videos, reviews that you want us to look at, leave them in the comments, give the thumbs up, subscribe, and tell everybody that you know. Till next time, peace out. Later, guys.